and Naoko Fukuman of Japan. The unseeded pair, they're taking on Wang Yi Lu and Chen Qingchen of China. Officials and umpires just making their way to the court. You can see on screen there their uh, route to the final. Both pairs have been in some thrilling three set matches so far this week. The Japanese taking a very close second round. 21-16 final set decider against Sam and Chloe McGee of Ireland, which was really incredible to watch. And it was yesterday's quarter-final that uh, troubled China. Desha Pol and Tara Tanachai set in that quarter-final, but Wang Yilu and Chen Ching Chen able to come back 21-11, 21. 15 in sets two and three, games two and three. Both pairs making their way to the court as well, and uh, they've never met, in fact. This is the first time these two pairings have met. Uh, most certainly contributed by the fact Wang Yi Lu and Chen Ching Chen. It's the first time they've played together. Very young Chinese pair. Wang Yi Lu only 21 and Chen Ching Chen playing the World Junior Championships this year. She is just 18 years old. Players deciding on the coin toss. Yes, Chen Ching Chen, just 18. Wang Yi Lu at 21, both play a very high level of women's and men's doubles too. Wang Yi Lu at 21, he has had seven different mixed doubles partners in the last few years. A career high of 55, he's currently ranked 134 in the world, but I don't necessarily think that's a uh, true display of his abilities. He's been looking in great shape this week. Chen Ching Chen, ranked 44. She's been up at rank 25 with Zheng Siwei. And they reached the semi-final of the Thai Masters back in uh, February. Japanese pair of uh, Keigo Sonoda and Aoko Fukuman. Sonoda there. They're currently ranked 23 in the world. Uh, also unseeded here. They had a round one defeat last week in the All England, beaten by Liu Chiang and Bao Yixin. 9-21-13-21. I wonder whether that uh, bad defeat to a Chinese pair will have any indication on how this one's going to pan out. It's the first time, I think, the Japanese have made a uh, semi-final in a major event. Although they're around 16 defeat in the Australian Open to Santawi Ahmed and Liliana Natia 
was in three sets, so it does show they are capable of mixing it with some of the world's best. Chinese there, Dutch opponents in round one. Fairly comfortable 21-3, 21-11 win against Germany in round two, and that quarterfinal yesterday against Thailand. As I recall, it lasted well over an hour. It was an incredible matchup. Umpire getting things underway. Arnold Vernon of Switzerland. Supported by Mr. Schmidt in the uh, service judge chair, also of Switzerland. And it's Chen Jing Chen who gets us underway. Chen Ching Chen looking pumped. I've seen her play a few times this wow. week. She really is a force to be reckoned with. Just 18, she's featured with some pretty strong partners in ladies doubles and mixed doubles over the last year or two. And um, my prediction is she's going to be right up there one of the best players in doubles in the world over the next few years. So much class, skill and power at just 18. Wang oh. Yilu just missing the trams with that smash. But you can sense already China are very much up for this match. Oh! Full of confidence. Three, Going for one. the lines. Missed on both occasions, but it does show their ambition. Yeah, the drop shot from Wang Yilu there, just too much time, too much air. And Keigo Sonoda was very early to come in at the net to put that away. China looking very comfortable with Chen Ching Chen running around the back of her male partner. I wonder whether that's a tactic they are enforcing for this match in particular. Didn't see so much of that yesterday. She certainly is more than capable, however, from the rear court. Sign of nerves. Bit of tension, perhaps. Unforced errors from China so far. Great attacking play from China. Rotation amongst this pair. And the well-aimed smash from Chen Ching Chen right onto the hip of Naoko Fukuman. Nice to see some emotion out there on court. Oh. 
Yeah, the man read that very well. She saw the drop coming to the mid-court and... And diving in to play the net Seven. kill. There we go. Good experience there from Japan. Great return of serve from Sanoda. Not much Chen Ching Chen could have done about. Shut all that, catches the tape and falls. Great defence from Fukuman there. And that's unlucky. Great rotation from China, but the unforced error. Quite a few unforced errors so far from the Chinese pair. They managed to keep the shuttle in court. The scoreline might be very different. Great pressure from both the Chinese. I thought the net shot from Sonoda was good, but Chen Ching Chen was so early on it. Great attacking play again from China. Ten. Certainly looking the more aggressive of these pairs. And the straight smash from Wang Yi Lu sets up his partner to put that one away. Just one too many for Wang okay. Ilu. Then the first two defensive shots were quite spectacular. He perhaps should have left that round the head to his partner to uh, get themselves out of trouble, but. He took it on himself and left a big gap at the front court. It's Japan with a one-point lead here at the break. The first game interval. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. 
I see China turning that around once they uh, get into a groove, keep the shuttle in court. They certainly seem the pair able to get on the attack soonest and when all their shots start going in, I think they're likely to take this first game. We'll see. Great cross court smash from Keigo Sonoda. Right in the pocket of Cheng Ching Chen. Japan very comfortable in the mid court, very much keeping up with this flat, flat, fast play from China. Oh, and the error at the net from Chen Qingqian. So many errors from China from attacking positions so far this game. And if they don't find their rhythm soon, they can very well see this game drifting away from them. have been much closer. So unlucky from Japan. Called in. No Hawkeye here, of course. One Ilu. Not very happy about the decision, but it did look in from uh, in this position. Great forehand drive from Chen straight into the forehand deep corner. Fukuman leaving that one. It seems she feels it was the speed of the shuttle. She feels the shuttle needs replacing and that's what slowed it down, but umpire and the Chinese pair very happy to continue. And the well-placed first smash onto the hip again of Chen, forcing the weak reply. And the easy kill in the end for Sonoda. Yeah, that was 
well left. 17. Again, too many errors from China so far this game. No error there, of course. Just great attacking play from Japan. A three-point lead and just three points to take this opening game. Called in by the line judge. I'm too far away really to make any educated call, but it did look short. I wonder what the China coach. Oof, that was very close. I wonder what the China coach is going to make of this. At the end of the at the end of the match, it should China lose. We've seen some very animated conversations so far this week. The results haven't gone China way. Oh, great deception, the return of serve. Yeah, he faked the drive into the backhand corner and then with a flick of the wrist, the drive into the forehand. China clinging on to this first game at the moment, but Japan with three match points. Uh, three game points, apologies. Oh, fantastic from China. The flick serve, Wang Yilu was on to the uh, smash return very early. Drive over Sonoda's head. Puts pressure on Japan right away and a very well worked finish to that rally. Oh, the uh, mistake, really, the decision Wang Yi Lu made to drive that last shot gave Sonoda a really easy opportunity. Yeah. It's Japan that take the opening game 21-19. should give Japan some confidence going into the second game. It would be great to see them progress to the final, although both pairs are unseeded. In my head, I would have Japan as underdogs, given the quality of these Chinese youngsters.
And I suspect China are very disappointed indeed that they let that first game slip away. Too many errors early on, I feel, and... Let's see if Japan are able to hold it together and... Keep China playing one more shot. Chen Qingqian just showing her power from the rear court there. That cross court smash. Forced the uh, return to drift long. Again, Wang Ilu with that same shot. He, it's a bad decision, really. That's all it comes down to. He gift wrapped it for Sonoda once again. He should have turned that cross or gone long, gone high. Oh, great feel, though. Great touch there. Two, one. This time from the racket of uh, Wang Ilu. <laughs> Great return of serve. Wang Ilu yeah, saw on. that. Very early and Three, was able to jump smash from there, which was quite impressive. to the backhand of Wang Ilu might be a tactic that Japan decide to employ here. He's made two errors and uh, two fairly weak backhand drives too, which, yeah, there's another one. Exactly, that backhand drive is just either in the wrong place or played with the wrong speed or wrong trajectory because it just opens the court up for the Japanese and Japan took the first game with that exact play and twice already in this game the same shot oh <laughs> unlucky there to die from Wang Ilu and Always great to see a player return the shuttle from a seated position on court. I still remember Anthony Clark did that in an All England quarter final, perhaps semi final once. Three times, I think, from his sitting on his butt and somehow managed to win the point. Wang Ilu not quite as lucky this time round.
Good pressure from China. And then the lift, but the error from the forehand of Sonoda. Keeps China within two points. Well, we've seen three errors from Wang Ilu. Backhand drive so far this game. And we've seen two shots that he's made that have been very weak indeed. Five points have come from the backhand drive of Wang Ilu. In this game alone, it's only 8-4. Oh, great play from the Japanese. Just forcing the opening, creating the space. Nine. And it was Sonoda with a very quick movement to the front court. Turning the shuttle into the gap. That one just drifting long, but uh, it's Japan with a four-point lead in the early stages of this second game. Naoko Fukuman will want to uh, try and close this match out in two games. She's up again later today in the, uh, in the second round of semi-finals, the evening session in the women's doubles. So she would prefer to conserve as much energy as possible, I'm sure. China, uh, Japan playing with a lot more confidence in this game. Asserting themselves on the match and causing some doubt among the Chinese. It's interesting to see their expressions differ now from the very start of the match where they were full of confidence. Shouts and screams and... Oh, that's unfortunate. Sonoda there with the unforced error though. He really went for it, driving or smashing across the body of Chen Ching Chen. The other mixed double semi-final later today between Thailand and Taipei, Bodhi Nisara and Savitri Amitrapai. They're up against Liao, Min Chun and Chen Xiao Hyun. So the winners of this match will face them tomorrow in the final. And it's Japan with the 11-6 lead here in the second game. One set up, one game up. to call them favourites now to uh, to win this match. Something of a surprise to me. I'd, uh, I'd have fancied China before the match started, so... It's great to see, of course, Japan really becoming a force in world badminton they've got some of the top players in men's doubles certainly women's doubles and men's and women's singles of course with uh, mamota okuhara 11. women's doubles from japan was absolutely incredible last week at the all england and if they can find some strength in mixed doubles too they really would be one of the top nations in the world 
currently you'd have to fancy teams like China, Indonesia, maybe an outside bet on Denmark to uh, to win tournaments like the Thomas Cup, Sudeman Cup. But over the next couple of years, I really would fancy Japan to start winning some of those events. Chen Chin Chen serving here at 8-11 in the second game. Oh, fantastic speed. The power and the movement from Wang Yi Lu there. Comfortable in defense. And then very early onto that clear. Around the head smash, too much for Naoko Fukuman. That's better from China, starting to uh, see and hear them play with a bit more confidence now. Closing the gap from 11-6. Fantastic short serve, it seems Japan are in need of a mop for the court. Of course, as any badminton fan will know, there's probably absolutely nothing wrong with the court. It's simply they've just gone from 11-6 to 11-all in about... 90 seconds or so, and I think they just wanted to interrupt the rhythm of China for a moment, try and get back on an even keel, and it worked. Good match yeah. tactics. Experience from Japan there. Asking for the uh, attention to be paid to the court, really just to give themselves a short break and disrupt that rhythm. Oh. Great match play, really. Might not be the most... Uh, gentlemanly of things to uh, to do but well within the rules and and as players you would look for any opportunity to gain some advantage or gain an opportunity to get back into a match so uh, you can't really argue with the tactics of the Japanese there but it's China that are coming back again looking dominant in attack this time 13 all They are certainly not prepared to go quietly into the night. They are still pumped up. They are looking to take this to a third game. Line judge covers his eyes. He didn't see it. Umpire makes the decision, calls it in. It did look like a very good serve from Huang Ilu. Again, very confident with the round the head smash straight down the line. 15, very well placed smash just out of reach of Sonoda. That's 
great court coverage from China, but the error again. That backhand drive from Wang Ilu. Four or five just this game alone. Unforced. And giving themselves a real problem, really. Well read from Chen Chin Chen. That flick serve out wide didn't quite have the height Fukuman would have wanted, and the cross court smash from Chen was so good. The Chinese look to be complaining about the serve of uh, Fukuman. Complaining that the serve was high, perhaps. Two point the lead now. Oh, fantastic round the heads. If there's one shot, Wang Ilu plays with a lot of confidence. It's that round the head smash. That jump out on the left leg. Cross court all straight. He, uh, Looks like it's his favourite shot. That is a better drive on the backhand of Wang Ilu. <laughs> the frustration on the face and also the uh, animations of Chen. She smiles, but you could tell she was frustrated with herself there for making that error at the net. Oh, brilliant. Just turning the uh, racket face across the shuttle to send it the other way. China now within touching distance of this second game. Yeah, well left. That error from Sonoda brings about game point 2015. Oh. Chen probably couldn't sense it, but uh, Wang Yilu well out caught there. Playing his own game over on the carpet. Great smash from Wang Ilu, and that brings about the end of the second game. It's China with a 21 16 second game, brings about the third and final game. The second half of that game was, well, almost unstoppable. China there in the second half of that, uh, second half of that game. From 11 6 down to come back and win 21 16. They really did start to play with the sort of potential that I thought they had at the start of the match. If they can keep that going, there's going to be only one winner of this.
So it's China with the serve at the start of this third and deciding game. Looking for a place in the final, the other semi-final, Thailand against Chinese Taipei later on this evening. Japan again, that's the third or fourth time they've left the serve and they've all been in. Better backhand this time from Wang Ilu. Oh, fantastic defense from China. Wang Ilu with the dive. The rally still going, the net cord from Chen. All eyes turned to the line judge. There was a bit of a delay. She called it out, but what a rally. <sighs> well, my goodness. I think if Hawkeye was in operation at this event, there might have been a call for Hawkeye there from the Chinese. That looked very close indeed. No. It seems there was an overall somewhere that I seem to have missed point went to China, despite the uh, line judge calling it out, perhaps the umpire saw it and uh, overruled the decision. Either way, it's three love. China taking an early lead in this deciding game. Oh, great smash again from Wang Yilu. I get the feeling that uh, this Chinese, this new oh. pairing of Chinese, very young, full of confidence, full of ambition, but uh, they let it run away with themselves in the first game. Probably playing with a little too much confidence, going for lines, making errors on the attack. And they realized through games one and two that uh, they need to just rein it in a, a little bit and. Um, play within themselves very slightly and the second half of game two certainly certainly showed what they're capable of and they're off to a good start in this one too so <laughs> crowd laughing at the deception on the uh, calling Chen Ching Chen with the cry as she made the reach to retrieve that shuttle Calling for her partner to go. Like I said earlier, it's nice to see some emotion, some animation from the players. It does help create the atmosphere in this uh, arena. The arena starting to to fill up now as we move into the afternoon. Chen looking to change the shuttle, I think. Being told to uh, get on with proceedings by the umpire. Ah, great attacking play from Sanoda. For a mixed doubles player, he's very quick at moving forwards. I suspect he plays a bit of men's doubles as well. I might just check that. from both ladies. It was the error from 
Wang Lu that gives Japan the serve and brings the score to 4-6. Sonoda again moving forward so quick. And again. Moving like a uh, level doubles player. Well, it seems there uh, must have been a bit of a change of tactics from Japan. Sonoda and Fukuman playing a much more even game, a level game with Sonoda happy to take the front of the court. <laughs> Wang Ilu there with his eye on his opponents and not the shuttle. Great smash from Wang Yilu. Very much one of his strengths. And a great drive from the forehand of Sonoda. As deep into the corner as you could possibly Oh, it wasn't Sonoda, it was Fukuman driving it right onto the sideline. Fantastic smashing again from Wang Yu. Yeah, great attacking play from Japan. This.
service over. Ten. Hold. Eleven, ten, play. Eleven, twelve. Service over. Thirteen. Eleven. Welcome back, folks. Sorry about the uh, slight technical problem. We just had the loss of commentary. Unfortunately, just something we have to, uh, to deal with in these kind of environments. 12.13, it seems we haven't missed any great changes to the state of play in this third and final deciding game here in the mixed doubles. Court's just being mopped, it's Sonoda with the serve at 12.13. Naoko Fukuman still looking pumped, jumping around, keeping warm. It's becoming quite a tense affair. Oh! Sonoda again just showing us his prowess at the front of the court. He did read that well, but he 
tried a little too much with the stick smash from the midcourt. That one drifts, uh, drifts wide from the forehand of Sonoda. 15-12 now to the Chinese pairing. Oof, that was very well left from Wang Yilu. In, but the replay might show that that did drift just wide. Oh, no, it was on the line. It was on the line. Great call from the line judge, confirmed by the umpire. Wang Yilu not happy, of course. Great defence from China, soaking up the pressure, but their skills at the front of the court again from Sanoda. Turning that across the tape with the backhand. The change of tactics for Japan really working in the latter stages of this third and final game. Sonoda equally as happy on a men's doubles court as a mixed doubles court. He's been playing men's doubles lately with Takishi Kamura. Reaching the second round of the All England last week. That smash splitting the pair in half. 15 16, really not a lot in this third and final game at all. The error this time from the smash of Wang Yi Lu. Brings about a thrilling end to this match. Nothing between them at all. 16 all here in the third. Will the experience of the Japanese shine through? Or will the ambition and confidence of the Chinese just do enough to take this semi-final. Again, the Backhand of Wang Yi Lu. Probably third shot from the end of that rally. Just doesn't seem to be able to penetrate with it. It gives his opponents a chance to attack every time. 
I can tell you firsthand that hurts. Shuttlecocks might largely be made of feathers, but. A hard cork wrapped in a very fine coating of leather really can leave a sting, much like paintballing. And Fukuman's going to be taking a bruise with her into the women's double semi final later. Fault called. Must have clipped both. Japanese rackets, I would say. A shame for them, but brings about a two-point lead once again for China. Great defence from Fukuman. Wang Yi Lu raining down these smashes. Oof. Oh, the deception on the cross court slice. Oh. oh, fantastic stuff. What a great rally. Wang Yi Lu, three shots from the end, turning the shuttle across the court. Fukuman on his knees, and it brings about match point for the Chinese unseeded pair here, Wang Yi Lu and Chen Ching Chen. The crowd really getting into the atmosphere here at the end of this match. 20, match point 17. It's Wang Hilu with the serve. Net return from Sonoda. And there it is. Chen Ching Chen with the kill after Wang Ilu straight smash in the middle of the court. And it's the Chinese mixed doubles pair that make it through to tomorrow's final. Very respectful Japanese opponents. And I'm sure there was a degree of pressure on the Chinese pair there. They were young, they're unseeded, they haven't played together before this tournament, but you could sense the quality of these players and they did enough in the end to make it through to tomorrow's final. Such power, athleticism from both players. You can see what it means on the face of Chen Ching Chen there. Delighted to be going through to the mixed doubles final. Confirmation of the score then. It was Japan that took the opening game, 21-19. And Wang Yilu and Chen Ching Chen came back, taking the next two, 21-16, 21-17.
And so we have men's singles up next on court in the first session of the semi-finals. Officials making their way to the court as they introduce the umpire and surface judge we have. The players on the way to the court now. Xu Wei Wang of Chinese Taipei.